Okay folks, so I'm going to tie you a fly called the Colonel Christie. And this is a this is a shrimp fly pattern. Um, the hook I have in the vase is a size 10 Partridge Patriot double. The thread that I'm going to start off tying the fly with is uni thread 80 in white. So simply just going to come in and get the thread started behind the eye of the hook, knock on a few turns and remove the waist tag of the thread. Now the tag on the fly is going to be an oval silver tinsel. The oval silver tinsel that I'm using is oval silver tinsel and small. So just come in a couple of turns, catch it in underneath, bring the oval silver tinsel underneath the hook and then simply just run your thread down tying this in. Now, I'm going to bring my thread down and then I'm going to let it go just slightly past the point of the hook and then I'm just going to come around with four turns of the oval silver tinsel and on the fifth turn up and in between the two hooks come around with a turn of thread a couple of turns will secure that in and then you can come in and trim away the excess of the oval silver tinsel now the tail on the fly like most shrimp patterns this is a natural uh, red breast feather from a golden pheasant. So just simply stroke back the fibres to reveal your tip. A couple of turns tying in the tip, fold the tip back, a couple of turns back over, securing that in. Now just come in at this stage and you can bring away the tip. Now you're just looking one turn in front of the other of the golden pheasant. Now, I'm going to use up the full feather simply because that's what I like to do. If you don't like your tail thick on your shrimp flies, put on as many turns as you like. So, like I say, just one turn in front of the other. Now, I'm going to bring my thread back down into position. Keeping a hold of the stem, I'm going to follow it around with the thread couple of tight turns now. I want to try and keep the body as smooth as can. It's going to be a floss body. So I don't want any lumps and bumps. So I'm just keeping the, the stem of the golden pheasant on my side. Now I'm just going to break that off. And then I'll come in with a an old toothbrush and just brush out the, any of the fibres I may have caught while I was simply winding the, the hackle up. Now, on the way back down, I'm going to catch in an oval, small, oval silver tinsel and small again. This is just the, the stuff that I use for the tag. No point in wasting it. So, I'm just going to catch it in underneath. Bring the tinsel underneath. And run this down. Now, you need to leave yourself plenty of space here because there's feelings on this fly. So, rear body. You need floss and bright yellow. So just come round, just knock the length of that off the spool and then we'll tie this in the length of the rear part of the body. Now just bring your thread up in the position. Like I say you need to leave yourself plenty of room, there's veilings on the fly. And then just bring up your bright yellow floss, just one turn slightly overlapping the other to there. Follow it around with your thread, one turn to hold, a couple of turns will secure that in. Then just come in and knock away the waist piece. Then we can bring up a rib. Now you're just looking three turns of the oval silver tinsel. Now that slipped there, that's okay, just come back in. Nobody's going to shoot at you. Just take your time and bring up three turns of the oval silver tinsel to there. Just follow it around with your thread. A couple of turns will secure that in too and then just come in and trim away the waste of the oval silver tinsel. Now on the original pattern the veilings are swan strips dyed yellow above and below same at the top above and below. Now I don't have any yellow swan but I do have some yellow goose feathers so I'm just going to use these. So all I want to do is just simply bring them out 
from the stem and then rip them away. Now if you don't have yellow goose or swan, just use yellow hackle fibers. They'll do the same job. Now I'm just going to come up after these up. Now I want the tips coming slightly into the into the tail. I'm just going to come around with a pinch and loop and then a couple of turns to secure. Now I have another two here. I'm just going to do the same underneath. I'm just going to offer them up and try and get them much the same length. Keep a hold of them underneath. I'm just going to pinch and loop up the way. Then a couple of turns. Right. At this point, I'm just going to come in and trim the excess. Above and below. Now I'm just going to spin the vase around here. Just to see what way I'm sitting. Right. I'm happy with that. So I'll bring the face back around into position so you can see. And then I'm just going to a couple of turns just to tighten down. Mid haggle. Just a bodger haggle. So I just want to get a feather off here. And then simply stroke back the fibers to reveal the tip. A couple of turns down, tying this in, fold the tip back. Oh, me favour there, but just get a hold of it, fold it back, and bring your thread down into position, and then you can break away the tip of the haggle. Now, just want to come in with my scissors. I'm just using the serrated edge to stroke back the the haggles on the stem. Now, in terms of haggle, it's entirely up to yourself. It's your fly. Um. I usually go with three, try not to sort of way deviate from three, but look, it, it all depends on the quality of the fibre that you're putting on. Right, that's enough there for me, so I'm going to hold the hackle stem, follow it around with my thread, a couple of tight turns in, and then I want to come in and trim away the stem. Right, anything that wants to go forward, I'm just going to fold it back. There's just a wee favour there, so let me come in and take that away. Now I'm going to run my thread up. <coughs> to there. And the head's red, so I'm just going to come in now with some uni thread, 801 red. What I'm going to do is just simply tie over the, the white thread. Now, just come in, trim the red, or the red tag of thread, and trim your white. On the way back down, I want to tie in some more oval silver tinsel. This is just a small stuff again. So just come in. Catch it in underneath a couple of turns. Bring the oval silver tinsel underneath. And then just bring your red thread down. Tie it up against your mid haggle. Now the front body. Black floss, same again, you need floss and black. Just take a length of this off. Spool, trim it away. And then just offer this up to the hook and pull it in much the length of the second part of the body. Now, your veilings to go on at the top, haggle and jungle cock. So just make sure you leave yourself plenty of room to tie in your materials at the front so just tie in your black floss and then just simply bring up your black floss one turn slightly overlapping the other to there and then just follow it around with your thread a couple of tight turns will secure that in and then just come in and trim away the excess of the floss and we're going to bring up our oval silver tinsel for a rib much like the rear body, three turns of the lower silver tinsels plenty up to there, follow it across with your thread, a couple of turns to secure. Now, right. just get a couple of turns of thread down to the front, just get a foundation down for your materials at the front. Now, right. same again, just want to come in, get the goose. Just to line up the tips 
that'll do the underside and then just a wee bit too much there get the tips to line up again and this will do the top feeling like I said at the start we don't have yellow swan or goose cock haggle favours and yellow do the same job now, I'm going to want the tips of this feeling just coming in to the back end of the middle feelings I'm just going to come around with a pinch and loop and a couple of turns just to hold it and then same again underneath just want these trying to keep them all sort of way at the same measurement just hold them underneath come around with a pinch and loop up the way a couple of turns to secure those in now just want to check underneath that's good, happy enough with that. Uh, just come in with your scissors. Just trim away the excess of the goose. Yeah, just want to tidy up here. Just get it sitting nice for yourself. And I'm just want to tidy up. Bring the thread down and back up. Right, front haggle. See him as the mid haggle. Just a badger, cock haggle. Uh, stroke back the favours to reveal the tip. Come up, a couple of turns catching in the tip, fold the tip back. Bring your thread back up over the tip on the haggle. Come in, locate your tip, break it away. Uh, I'm just going to take three turns of this. But like I say, it always depends on the quality of the the haggle that you're using right. Right, just going to keep a hold of the haggle stem underneath following around with the thread get one turn in and a couple of turns to secure now right. just let me I was going to fold that back but the, the stems too thick so I'll just come in and take the stem away and then just anything that's going forward at this stage just come in and stroke it back just get a bit of thread down now for the for the old jungle cock I have two eyes here I've already taken off the, the cape so that's them there so I'm just going to get them leveled up on my hand and just create a space for all I'm doing is creating the space to tie them in. Just want to get them as level a base as I can. Now I'm just going to offer these up to the hook. Come around and just fold them down each side. And just come around with a couple of loose turns. Just to hold them in position. I'm just going to come in and check. Just check because if you're not happy. You tie these in, they're not sitting right, you'll not face the fly. Okay, now I'm happy with that. So I'm just going to take another few turns of thread nice and tight. Then I'm going to come down. Then I'm going to fold back the stems of the jungle cock. And then just bring my thread turns up over the top of the, the stems, building up the head at the same time. Nice and tight with the thread turns now. If you keep your thread tight, you should be able to break these away. Okay. Right. Don't let go of the thread, keep it tight. And just come in and stick on a whip finish. Put your thread nice and tight. And then just come in and trim away the thread. Now at this stage, what we can do is come in get a coat of varnish on or in this case super glue just to seal the head up just on the head don't want it anywhere else only on the head now once that's the super glue is dry and set I'll just come in with a couple of coats of varnish to finish the fly off now that's the original pattern other than 
in the original pattern there was as I say strips of yellow swan used now that's a good wee fly that's a good fly to have in your box so give that fly a wee go and hopefully it can catch you a few fish